Ligawasan Marsh, a resource-rich battlefield. Long an enclave of the separatist Moro Islamic Liberation Front, or MILF, it was once difficult to get in without the group's say-so. But not anymore. A thousand fighters in this one camp used to be affiliated with the MILF. Over the past couple of years, they have jumped ship and joined forces with the Moro National Liberation Front. They say more and more of them are doing so, growing frustrated and disheartened with the MILF leadership. For these fighters, it's a return to the mother group. The MILF broke away from the Philippines' original Muslim separatist movement, the MNLF, back in the 70s, when a peace deal was first struck with the government. But the MILF's pursuit of its own peace deal has not been as successful. Despite its leader's statements to the contrary, many of the ground troops grew restless. They say too much, but accomplish nothing. Now able to visit Ligawasan, the MNLF chairman is welcomed warmly in this former MILF camp. Even if many consider the original peace deal he brokered a failure, he is still seen here as a hero. I am uh, euphoric about this because uh, I think this is a sign. A sign, a signal from the Almighty God that now our people have finally uh, learned a big, big lesson. Namely, that only when they are united that they can be free. Another camp where MILF fighters have turned, believing the group's leaders to be ineffective and detached. Misuari says that more than half of the MILF's 12,000 troops have now rejoined the MNLF, something the MILF leadership denies. I don't know that's too exaggerated. We were able to sustain them. Uh, the, the strength on the ground, no problem at all. Here in the MILF heartland, the finishing touches are being put on what's to be the largest mosque in the country. Construction stalled three years ago, around the same time MILF peace talks with the government fell through. Site engineers got over their hurdles, but it's back to the drawing board for the MILF. Until the leaders face the discontent of their own ground forces, any deal discussions with the government now will be nothing more than cosmetic. Margot Ortigas, Al Jazeera, Cotabato, Southern Philippines.